Good Sunday morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee along with my colleague John North. I'm John Becker and with us this morning is a man who's done something the county has never seen and done something the county has seen for 25 straight years. Mayor Jacobs, it's great to have you with us. Thanks, John. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let me introduce our panel first. Susan Richardson Williams is a Republican, runs her own PR shop. Good, Good to morning. have you. Good morning. morning, John. Don Bosch, a Democrat, runs his own law firm. Good morning. Good morning. Good Ma teaser there, John. Thank you. Way. Mayor Jacobs, uh, your message about your budget is our finances are tight. I want our viewers to just keep that in mind as we continue this discussion. For the first time in history, we have seen the county budget rise over a billion dollars. For the 25th time in a row, we have seen no new taxes. You've kept your promise. You said you will not see your taxes go up in terms of property taxes in your administration. Um, let me ask you this. Is it feasible for the county to go another 25 years and not raise property taxes? That's a great question. Uh, <laughs> and, and it won't be his problem. <laughs> I know that. Well, I, ho I hope that we're in that situation, obviously. Um, yeah, there are a lot of challenges in the current environment uh, with inflation being where it is. Uh, inflation hits us just like it does families, just like it does businesses. Uh, and that's one of the things that we've had to really contend with. Uh, when you look at our per resident spend adjusted for inflation and adjusted for population, uh, it's remained flat over the past 10 years, uh, which probably is unheard of with governments really almost around the world. Um, but yeah, the finances are tight um, because of all the things that, that we're facing with population growth, with inflation, um, but we're gonna do our best to keep, keep moving forward like we are. I wanna get to some of the numbers and then some questions from uh, our group. But first, let's start with one graphic we have that shows our viewers the breakdown of this budget. And just a really a reminder that most of your tax dollars uh, if you think of one dollar that you pay in taxes, 67 cents of it goes to the school system. That gets the bulk of it and you see where the rest of it is spent. Okay, one of the headlines out of this budget is in our next graphic and that is the amount of debt that we are incurring um, and have to deal with as a county. So in 2026, that tax bill will be 88 million on debt. 2027, 95, and you see it rises to $101 million in 2029. Mayor Jacobs, who's to blame for that? Well, what's happened over the years, now the state requires level debt service payments, um, but what's happened over the years is there were essentially some interest only uh, bonds taken out, and, and those are coming due now. Uh, if you look at our overall indebtedness, it's fine. We're double A plus rated, uh, which is superior, um, but you know we have more Essentially, we have a, a big spike, and then it also drops off. Um, but certainly, that's going to be a challenge when we look forward for the next four four years or so. And do you think you're that you're in this office for another two years? Right. Do you anticipate either you or your predecessor, or excuse me, the person who follows you? will need to look at tax rates. I, again, I mean, that's just something the future is is going to tell us. Uh, we'll do the best that, that we can. Um, we've seen a gradual uptick because we just have taken out more debt. Again, things are more expensive, um, you know, but nevertheless, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, I know that we'll try our very best. Uh, I don't want to raise property taxes, um, you know, but it is a bit of a challenge. One last question for me and then our panel can weigh in. Uh, Mayor Ragsdale took out some of those balloon debt service projects. Was that a smart move for governor? For, I mean, for it's, governance? It's, it's difficult to tell. I mean, I'm sure that my successors would be like, oh, Jacobs, why did he do this, right? Uh, so, so it's difficult to tell. And also, a lot of times these things, you know, you're getting advice from different people. Um, I'm not an expert in finance. Chris Caldwell, who is the county's finance director, I think he's the best in the state. He's amazing. We also have advisors with everything that we do as far as bonds and those sort of things. Um, so it's hard to go back and say, was that the right thing to do or not? You know, the, the real question is, is something that we're going to have to deal with now. So Mayor Jacobs, one of the things we were talking about off air is this number has increased fairly dramatically as we look at that chart over the last few years, but that's sort of an artificial inflation because yeah. previously the debt that was incurred by the school system wasn't included in that figure. Is that accurate? No, the debt the debt has been included. The debt I'm sorry, yeah. the debt service. No, no, yeah, the debt service has been included. And that's we're unique in Tennessee. Most states school debt 
and general government debt are two different things. So how much is that school debt service? What Out of 89 million, how much of that is school debt service, uh, if it, you know? It, it's significant. It's probably 55 or 60% maybe. So, um, and that's just off the top of my right. head. Right, and so at the end of the day, really what we're doing is 4% of our budget if you exclude the school debt service, is really going to debt service, that figure is not unreasonable. No, no. I, again, um, you know, part of this is also just driven by population growth, and we know that. You know, um, more schools, those are really expensive to build. Nowadays, elementary school costs $25, $30 million to do. Um, I've done three of them. So, you know, that, that is a lot of money. And obviously, it's just like, you know, when you're buying a house, normally we don't have enough money to, to pay for the house up front. The difference with government is because we are growing, we're always building more things. We are, you know, we're never probably ever going to pay our debt completely off. But what we look at is can we manage the debt? You know, does right. the debt service get out of hand? Um, and again, it's just, it's different in Tennessee because it's all lumped together and it's not parsed out like it is other places. We've got to take a quick break on Inside Tennessee. Back with more of our conversation with Mayor Glenn Jacobs of Knox County. Susan and John will weigh in right after this.